Hello again, our most val valued student. Welcome to our five part series of this statistics for grade 10. And I'm looking at now some previous papers. In the previous two lessons, I looked at how to go about getting the basics of this uh, statistics. But now I'm looking at the actual question papers. Now, if this is your first time coming in contact with this channel, just subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you can be notified. Remember, I'm having you in mind as you are preparing for your final exams. So ensure that you are notified by the 24 minute lesson that there is a new video that you can benefit from. Now, let's look at a question paper. Look at this paper written in November 2016. I know it's a bit old, but still very relevant. Question one is your statistics is your first question and you don't want to panic. You want to ensure that the first question you get all your marks says the height of 20 children were measured in centimeters and the results were recorded. So be careful whenever you're giving your answers, maintain the units. So you'll be saying blah, 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 centimeters. The data collected is given in the table below. So they've got this for 20 learners. So you can see, let me see if it's, um, yes, that's the 20. Now it says write down the median height measured. It says, it says write down, meaning you don't need to calculate it. It's possible that you can literally observe and write down. So what do you do? First of all, check that the data is arranged in ascending order. Meaning, if this is number one, that is number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, number ten. It looks like already is arranged. You see that? Number eleven, number twelve, number thirteen, number fourteen, number fifteen, number sixteen, number seventeen, number eighteen, number nineteen, number twenty. First thing is to understand now what does the word median the word median means the middle number, the center number, not the mean. The mean, that's where you add everything. But here they are talking about the median. So when you see median, remember, it can be denoted by the capital letter M or Q2. Refer to the previous lessons. And I told you how you go about it. You can start scratching from number 1 and number 20. Are you with me? So you scratch number one, number 20, number two, and so on. So here I've got number one and number 20, number two and number 19. You see that? Number three, just also on number that, number four, number 17, number five, until I meet at the center, number six, 141, number seven, number 14, number eight, number 13 number 9 number 138 number 10 now look at this if i scratch 10 i'll scratch 11 so which means i've got two numbers remaining number 10 and number 11 which is 136 and i've got 137 so when they are two like that you add and divide by two that becomes your q2 your median okay. are you with me so if you do that it will then give you um the answer so let's do that so it will be here 136 plus 137 you divide by 2 what am i getting i'm getting 136,5 so here it is equal to 136,5 remember the units centimeters in this case it's very important because they gave us the units so the answer here that you can put says write down the median you can come down and say the median there is what? 136,5 centimeters. Are you with me? So that is that. But what if you wanted to use the formula? If you wanted to use the formula, also it's not a problem. You remember, you remind yourself what is Q2? The median is 1 over 2, n plus 1. Then you put the term. These are the terms. So which is equal to 1 over 2. You find how many terms? There are 20 terms, which is 20 plus 1, which is 21. Remember, it's up to 20. So they said there are 20 students. So you say 20 plus 1. Half of 20 plus 1, I think it is 10,5, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So it's uh, half of 21. It must give us 10,5. So now it's 
10,5 term. So you look at it now to say when it's 10,5 meaning go to term, go to the 10th term and not only 10 because it's already 10,5. It's between 10 and 11th term. Hence we went to the 10th and we went to the what? To the 11th term which was that and that. You see how we went into that. So that was that. But anyway, it's one mark. You don't have to stress. Number 1,2 says 1,2.1. Determine the mean height. Now, when we start talking about the mean height, what we are referring to, let me come here. When we start talking about the mean height, meaning the word mean means add everything. And after you have added everything, so you are saying plus, plus, you are adding everything here. Seeing that, you add and you divide by what? You divide by the number of children and they told you how many were they? They told you that they were 20. So you are adding all this. And then you are going to say everything divided by 20. I think that. That's why they made it two marks in a way because they want to check whether are you able or are you in a position to add that properly. If you can't add that properly, then you're going to be challenged. So let's try to add this and see if we can win. So it's, uh, remember it's 127 plus 128 plus 129 plus 130 plus 131 plus 133 plus uh, 134 plus 134 plus 143 plus 142 uh, plus 142 plus 143 plus 144 okay 144 lastly plus 145 I divide that by 20 equal to and then I've got 136,4 so that is my mean height which is 1 36,4 remember centimeters always maintain the units then the next one 1 comma 2.2 what does it say it say I need to find the range now what is the range as I said the range you look at the maximum so range is equal to the biggest number maximum minus the what the smallest number the minimum so what is the biggest number here it's 145 minus the smallest number is 127 if you do that then you subtract them and then you must be in a position to get the answer 145 minus 127 it gives us 18 so the range there is 18 now there's the other one the interquartile range now remember this interquartile range we use um, the abbreviation i q r what is the interquartile range? It's Q3, which is the upper quartile, minus Q1, which is the lower quartile. Meaning, we need to find Q3 and what? And Q1. So let's f first find Q3. Now, Q3 is equal to, you can utilize the first part as we say it. We say it, what do you do? Go back to the beginning, and you remember it's linked to your median. So you look at the median and we said the median was the 10th and the 11th. Remember, it was this number. These numbers were the median, 10th and 11th in between. So now, if you are going to be finding um, Q3, it means, remember, it was here in the center if we're writing straight. So from going from this direction, from here, if I count how many terms here, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The simplest one that I use is 
I look at the middle number here. So as I said, you can do the scratching. There is one is gone. You scratch that, you scratch that, you scratch that, you scratch that, you scratch that until you meet at the center. So it's 10 of them. So five and six are going to be the center one. So what you do, you take the numbers 131 plus 133. What do you do? You divide it by two and you get the answer. Then that becomes what? That becomes the uh, actually the Q1, not Q3. So it's 131 plus 133 over 2. Because I'm looking at the other side, it's 132. So this is 132. So correct that. It's not Q3, but this one is Q1. I'm getting that this is Q1. What about Q3? I can use a different formula to find Q3. But I can maintain the same way while I was doing where I was scratching. You scratch that now Q3 is based on the last numbers. You see the last part. So you scratch, you scratch, you scratch, you scratch, you scratch, you scratch, you scratch. Again, two numbers are remaining 141 plus 142 over 2. Again, the calculator will come handy. And you'll have one for one plus one for two over two. What do I get? I'm getting one forty one comma five comma five. Remember all this put your units as centimeters. But if you wanted to use the formula, you can still use as I said in the previous lessons, you can still here use the formula to say Q one is equal to uh 1 over 2 you use n plus 1 or you can use 1 over 4 n plus 1 it will still work refer to that formula in here you will use 3 over 4 n plus 1 or 1 over 2 n plus 1 if for example I wanted here to use 1 over 2 n plus 1 now I know in the top one in Q1, I said there are 10 items. So I can use my n is 10, which is 1 over 2. n plus 1 is 11. And half of 11 is what? 5, 5, which means I'm looking for the fifth and sixth number. So I'm going to come here and say, look at it exactly, 5 and 6. Similarly, if I was looking at this one using the formula 1 over 2 n plus 1, again, it's 1 over 2 the q3 again there are 10 which is 11 which is fifth and sixth at the, at the at the bottom ones so here i do the same thing where i count one two three four now look at this five six these are the numbers that we use are you with me then the next one says draw a box and whisker diagram to represent this data now box and whisker remember what it means you need a number line first first of all and that number line must also be informed you have to look at the data is that from 127 up to 145 so you can actually um maintain to say if this was maybe one not to say it's starting there you can actually start here to say already there is some numbers before put an arrow to say 125 uh, 125 to 127 147 I think you can jump to 145 25 30 35 40 45 so you need 20 uh, part so I think here you can say 120 um, 125 jump enough space to say let's start here at the bottom 125 and then 130 jump another equal space 135 but you can use a ruler here and 35 140 145 remember it goes this direction and then when you have done that you can come with a kind of an estimate as to what but a ruler would have done it now you start by looking at what remember the box and whisker is a five number summary there is the minimum 
so the minimum or the smallest is 127 there and the highest is 145 so you come here to say 127 is somewhere here and 145 is just there so it's a matter of that then after that you look at the median actually start with q1 there is q1 132 you come here and say somewhere there i'll have my 132 let me make use straight lines 132 and then i've got my median which is 136 135 136 is somewhere there and then i've got my what my q3 which is 141.5 which is somewhere there so when i'm drawing this something like this something like this something like this and something like that and just to correct it then you can actually write the numbers to say here is 127 here it's what it's uh 132 here it's 136,5 and here it's 141,5 and here it's 145. This is a box and the whisker of the data that we're given there. So that's how you can actually spin that around. It's 9 marks. I know it looks small, but but it is very, very important for you to ensure that these are 9 marks coming into your exam account you know you want them in your pocket you don't want you, you to find yourself struggling with such marks so as i said guys it's a five part series this is number three i'm going to look at another question where i'm doing number four where i also look at a previous paper join me again in the next lesson remember subscribing will help you to be notified every time i'm posting a new video thank you